morning po sa lahat. I'm Rachel Faye Fauni, 17 years old. Anak po ko ni Richard and Edith Fauni. Kapatid ko po si Rika Enichi from Envolve and ako naman po sa Teens Ministry pa po ako. Actually, sobrang kinakabahan po talaga ako. But when I remember po how much my dad persevered for us, I'm motivated to do this and to stand in front of you to share my story on how God changed and impacted my life through Jesus and through my dad. Ever since I was a child, I was told I was a daddy's girl. My relationship with my dad was great. Although he was somehow absent during my early childhood because he went abroad to work, I would remember waking up early just to talk to him, feeling excited whenever my mom would tell me that he would be coming home. Then, when my dad decided to go back and stay here in the Philippines permanently, I was over the moon. I thought everything would be all right because we became complete. But our situation became very difficult. When my dad's business failed, we were in so much debt. Those months were not easy. People would come knocking in our house and I'd be scared to answer. In all those moments, I witnessed my dad pulling us together to pray and ask God for help. I learned about faith despite hardships. We had family devotionals led by my dad, and we were brought closer to God and to each other through the challenge. So even though the situation wasn't ideal, at a young age, I learned how to talk to God and be closer to Him. I admired my dad's humility because he could have chosen not to tell us what's going on, but in the end, he did. He chose to be honest and gave up his pride. He told us that no matter what's happening, God is in control, and he told us to fix our eyes on Jesus. I saw how my dad made every effort to set an example and be Jesus-like in his way of life. I'd seen my dad's kindness and compassion. He would give to others, even though we didn't have a lot to give. He would help if needed. I thought I had an amazing dad who stops himself apart from the other dads, for he was gentle, kind, loving, and giving. And most especially, he was very patient with us. Through his positive outlooks in life, I learned to be grateful, gentle, and kind. Eventually, God answered our prayers, and our family was able to overcome our difficulty. But another situation came to our family that caused the good image of my dad to crumble before me. I saw that despite the fact that my dad is already a follower of Jesus, he can still fall, sin, and hurt us. And at that time, I felt like my dad failed to reach the standard of what a good dad is because of what he did. I was heartbroken and deeply hurt. My view of my dad was shattered. I didn't want to talk to him. I felt pain. And I didn't want anything to do with my dad because my heart hardened and my view of him became different. The situation eventually got resolved. My dad confessed, repented, and made every effort to mend our family. But in truth, my heart was never resolved. I still feel the hurt, and I feel like I couldn't go back to where it was before. But even though I was hurting, I saw how my dad persevered to make things right with my mom and her family. Then, I decided to study the Bible. I learned more about God, His words, and His love for me through the Lord Jesus. During the family counseling session, I confessed that I was deeply affected by what my dad did. My dad humbled himself and apologized. He said that disciples are not perfect, but we are forgiven through the sacrifice of Jesus. He helped me focus on the love of Jesus through the cross. I understand more about forgiveness and grace. Finally, on May 12, 2019, I made Jesus my Lord and was baptized. My relationship with my dad was restored. Being a disciple, I also fell many times, but I will always remember what my dad had taught me about the grace of God through Jesus about repentance and forgiveness. I learned to trust God more because with God, I feel more at peace. I realized that though my dad here on earth is not perfect, I have a perfect father in heaven and I know that God will never let me down. And to my dad, Daddy, thank you for being my dad and though hindi ko per perfect, ikaw po ang isa sa ginamit ni God para ipakilala sa akin ang perfect na father which is God. One with perfect love through Jesus. Thank you for your example of being a disciple of Jesus. Give it the chance to choose again which parent, I will still choose my daddy child. I love you, dad. 
Before I end my testimony, let me share with you po one of my guiding passages in Hebrews 12. Po. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Muli, binabadi ko po ang lahat ng mga daddies na Happy Father's Day, and thank you po for listening. Good morning. Happy Father's Day po again. Awesome. Rochelle, sa magandang testimony. Uh, ngayon, dumako naman po tayo sa ating communion. Our communion for today is taken from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verses 4 to 5. Again, Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verses 4 to 5. Abasahin ko po siya sa NLT version. Listen, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. Para po maintindihan ito natin ng mas malalim, gusto ko po mag-focus dun sa last word na pinanggit. Love the Lord your God with all your strength. So para maintindihan po natin, tingnan po natin yung pinanggalingan niyang Hebrew word, which is meod. Meod po yung pronouns. And take this, meod and strength are actually not the same in definition. Yung strength, isa po siyang noun or adjective. Ang meod is an adverb. And ang adverb, nag intensify ng meaning ng mga word or words na kasama niya. Cross reference po natin sa Genesis chapter 131, God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. Yung very po na, ginawa, na ginamit dyan is meod, meod good. Yung meaning po nung meod in modern day English translates to very or much. So basahin, balikan po natin ulit yung Deuteronomy. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Ibig sabihin po nun, mamahalin natin si God with all our will. Ibig sabihin, pinipili natin yon araw-araw. And with all our affection, buong feelings natin, mamahalin natin si God. Love the Lord your God with all your soul. Yung Hebrew word po ng soul does not refer to the literal soul o yung kaluluwa, but rather the physical being natin sa pagkatao. So ibig sabihin po nun, mamahalin natin si God ng buong physical being natin. And yung last, love the Lord your God with all your meod. Ibig sabihin po nun, mamahalin natin ang Diyos with all of our muchness. Okay? Since the meaning of meod is to intensify the meaning of a word to total capacity, Loving God with all our meod means kailangan natin ipakita yung pagmamahal natin sa Panginoon, sa bawat posibilidad na meron, sa bawat oportunidad na meron, at sa buong kakayahan natin. Kaya ang meod yung ginamit na Hebrew word ng author kasi ang pagmamahal sa Panginoon, hindi tayo limitado lang sa strength, yung physical na lakas, hindi tayo limitado sa pagbibigay o sa pagsaserve, hindi tayo limitado sa pagpapakita ng pagmamahal kay God sa pag-share lang natin ng kaalaman sa Bible. Meod yung ginamit kasi meron tayong infinite ways para ipakita yung pagmamahal natin sa Diyos. Amen? Masaya ka ngayon. Love God. nag struggle ka, malungkot ka. Love God pa rin. May nakasakit sa iyong disciple o ibang tao. Love God. Napapagod ka na mag-serve or mag-lead. Love God pa rin ang calling. And lalo na pag na-persecute ka na, should you stop loving God? No. And sino pa ba ang best example natin? Kundi si Jesus Christ. Nung masaya si Jesus, minahal niya si God. Nung nalungkot siya, nag-struggle siya, minahal niya si God. Nung may nakasakit sa kanya, Well, in fact, maraming nakasakit sa kanya, hindi siya tumigil sa pagmamahal kay God. Napagod pa mag-serve si Jesus Christ? Yes, naging tao siya, kaya siya napapagod. Pero hindi siya tumigil sa pagmamahal kay God. And lalo na nung na-persecute siya, kaya nga siya napakao dun sa cross eh, kasi minahal niya ng patuloy si God. Kaya para po sa ating communion, everything sa buhay natin, every opportunity, every ability na meron tayo, and every capacity na kaya natin, we have the chance to show our love and honor for God. And our best example for that, is Jesus Christ. And yun po yung meaning ng love the Lord your God with all your strength. Magpray po natin ng ating communion. Magandang umaga po, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po God for this opportunity God na nakapag-share na God ng uh, word po ninyo. I pray God na yung infinite ways po na meron po kami para ipakita ang pagmamahal namin sa inyo God. Hindi po kami tumigil para ipakita sa inyo God na mahal ka namin. At masundan po namin ang example ng inyong anak na si Jesus Christ. That He never stopped even in the face of death in loving you. Mahal na mahal ka po namin, God. Happy Father's Day po sa inyo. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ako okay, ako from Involved Ministry. Uh, anak ng, ng maganda ni si Janet Ake and uh, napakapoging si Jerry Ake. Yan. <laughs> Now let's move on to the part of giving. Uh, before I start, uh, can I ask you mga kapatid? Um, ang question ko is, how do you give sa mga taong mahal mo? How do you appreciate your friends, families, partners in life? Parents, especially sa mga tatay. Di ba we are giving most out of it? 
to please them, to encourage them, to thank them for all the things that they have done for us. Now let's open our Bibles to 1 John, verse 3, eh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 16. So, so 1 John chapter 3, verse 16, uh, babasahin ko na po. Uh, starting in verse 16, this is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. So, so I love this, how the scripture tells about love. First, Jesus died for us. Second is we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. The first part compliments about or compliments of John 3:16, which God loves us, and he gives his scripture because God loved us from the start. So it talks about how Jesus laid his life for you. Because he knows we need to be saved. Alam ni God yung mga kapangailangan natin. And uh, God knows our needs. Well, yung sinabi ko. Uh, nandun yung heart niya for you. God is sincere, offering his greatest possession. Jesus, offering his greatest possession. Jesus with heart and compassion to have a meaningful relationship with him. So Jesus showed us how to give by giving the best that we can do to help others. Maybe we lack something today that others may have. Maybe financial, maybe knowledge, maybe possessions. But giving isn't limited to those things. We can encourage them. We can show them that they are loved. We can show them how we appreciate them. And show that you love your fathers. God, did, God gave us gifts and talents to help others. We share what is part of ourselves because that's how we express our love to other people. So, ayun lang po. Uh, gusto ko lang pong encourage si Daddy kasi super encouraging niya simula nung pagkabata pa kami. Um, alam ko na na pag, pag gumatin si Daddy, palagi siya nagpe-prepare sa sound system. Siya po yung, ano, siya po yung nakapula sa sound system. So, lagi po siyang buwabangon ng maaga para mag-serve, para i-offer yung sarili niya kay God. And minsan, kapag nalilate kami, kapag nalilate kami ng gising, iniwanan niya kagad kami kasi gusto niyang i-mag-serve sa church. So, sobrang appreciate ko lang doon kasi God is, I, I see Daddy binibigyan niya yung best niya kay God. And through that, na-encourage kami na maging grateful kay God. So, ayun lang po, uh, sa giving, uh, if, ano, uh, may, if gusto niyo pong magbigay, meron po, nandito, may, may gcash po tayo, and uh, ni-encourage ko po kayo na magbigay. So, yun lang po. Uh, with that, let's pray. Uh, Father in heaven, God, uh, maraming salamat po God sa araw na ito, God, na pinagkulab niyo po sa amin. Uh, alam po namin, God, na marami po kami ginagawa ngayon. Pero God, uh, nagpapasalama po kami, God. Thankful po kami kasi you give, nagbigay po kayo ng special time sa amin to meet each other, God, to learn from your God's word. And uh, nagpapasalama po kami, God, dahil nandito po kami ngayon. And uh, prepare our, our hearts, God, to give. And kung i-appreciate, God, yung mga taong tumulong po sa amin, especially yung mga tatay namin. And ayun lang po with, with that, God. Uh, nagpapasalamat po kami, God. Uh, maraming salamat po in Christ. We pray. Amen.